So you're thinking of moving to Buckeye, Arizona? One of the fastest growing suburbs in the entire country. Uh, it's about 30 miles west of downtown Phoenix. Used to be a sleepy little town, not anymore. It's getting ready to explode in growth because there's a lot of major things coming this direction in Buckeye. I'm actually down here at one of the town centers I'm gonna talk to you about in a little bit. I'm gonna do what I always do. I'm gonna take you out and show you the neighborhood, show you some uh, kind of mid-range pricing that's going on here in Buckeye. And then we'll go ahead and do a market update and call it a day. So with that being said, just kick back and relax. And we're gonna get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about Buckeye or any other amazing suburb in and around the Metro Phoenix area, then be sure and subscribe below and tap that bell for notification. That way you'll be the first to know about our current market here in the Phoenix area. Hi, my name is Rick and the team and I, we get calls, text messages, and emails from people just like you every single day looking to move to a place like Buckeye or anywhere else in the Metro Phoenix area, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, reach out to us. You can give us a call, you can shoot us a text, you can send us an email. All of our contact information is listed below, and we'll be more than happy to help you make that smooth move to Phoenix. All right, so I'm out here at the Sundance Town Center one of the mega centers right here in the heart of Buckeye. Uh, it's, listed, it's right off the uh, Interstate 10 corridor, and that kind of is a kind of a dividing line, I guess you could say, with Buckeye. Uh, there's some housing on the north side of, uh, of I-10, Verado. Uh, then you got some other things up on the, on the back side of the White Tank Mountains, and then you got stuff south of the freeway, uh, which is the Sundance Master Plan community. We we're instrumental in putting all that together back in the early 2000s. Uh, with a lot of builders building in here. We did some developments down here as well. So it's really turned out to be quite a center, but it's kind of a, it just seems to have everything uh, that, you, that you're looking for in a neighborhood without having to go further uh, down I-10 eastbound towards Phoenix. I mean, it, for example, out here, it's got, uh, it's, it's got a, well, it's got a major hotel right behind me, a uh, Hilton. Uh, they've got an Abrazo Emergency Center here. So if you need any health care, uh, across the way and I'll, I'll take you around and kind of show you some footage of everything around here. They've got gas stations, restaurants, uh, they've got, uh, there's a Goodwill store over here, uh, several uh, shopping stores that you can go, that you can go to. They've got a Lowe's department, uh, low, they got a Lowe's uh, office building supply store, a Walmart, grocery stores. It really is self-contained, so if you live down in this area in Buckeye, You've got a majority of the stores that you're gonna need are right here in your backyard. Uh, but uh, Buckeye's an amazing, amazing town. You know, back in the about 2000, there's only about 6,500 people that lived here in Buckeye. Here we are some 20 plus years later, and now there's over 100,000 uh, residents calling, uh, calling Buckeye home. You know, when we started doing the Sundance uh, development out here back in the early 2000s, there really wasn't much here. Verado, probably the most uh, recognized master plan in all of Buckeye, and people that do research for Buckeye are probably familiar with Verado. Matter of fact, I recently did a uh, I recently did a tour of that master plan, so you can go check that out where I showcase some homes inside of Verado. But it's an incredible master plan, uh, and they've done a really really nice job up there. So you can go check that out. But what else is nice about uh, about Buckeye is what's coming down the pike. You know, eventually they're gonna have probably in the neighborhood of about 30 master plans throughout Buckeye. Currently, I think they've got about a dozen or so that are e either in the works or already up and, up and running, uh, but they still got a long ways to go. They've got a mega a master plan coming in the West Valley out there on the west side of Buckeye called Terra Vallis. Uh, it's going to have, <laughs> this is just amazing, I don't even know, I guess they're going to have all the water taken care of there, but it's over 37,000 acres. Uh, they're going to build approximately 100,000 homes, and they anticipate about 300,000 residents are going to be living out there. And that's just one of the master plans. So they're really doing, uh, they're really doing a nice job, I mean, with their whole infrastructure and, and planning for all of Buckeye, because like I said, up until about 20 years ago, this was just a sleepy little town. As a matter of fact, in 2014, uh, they went through the necessary votes and things like that to convert it into the city. So it's now the city of Buckeye. Prior to that, it was the town of Buckeye. But uh, it really is, it's, it's a neat place. 
and I'm going to take you around. I'll kind of show you this little neighborhood center here so you kind of get a feel for some more of the stores that are here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you out. I'm going to show you three homes. Uh, and these three homes are more in line of kind of what the average pricing is out here in Buckeye. Buckeye is still affordable. And uh, hopefully after you see these homes, you'll kind of get that feel for it. Uh, but it's some great opportunities because where we are here in Buckeye, I would say we're kind of on the eastern side of Buckeye coming in from Phoenix. Uh, you know, you're like I said, you're about 30 miles from downtown Phoenix, but it's just a straight shot through with Interstate 10. And that's what's nice. And if you want to head west, which is behind me here, and you want to head to California or anywhere in the coast, you know, that's probably a five hour drive, which is nice. Uh, you've got the, uh, I don't know if you can see it here, I'll take some footage of that, but you got the White Tank Mountains all up in the backdrop up there up north. Uh, which is great hiking they've got picnic areas up there they've got camping facilities so it's really close by if you enjoy that type of activity so anyways that's a little bit about buckeye and kind of what's going on and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and show you around here a little bit and take you out to our first talk <music> So we're coming up on our first stop. Uh, this home is listed for $367,000. It is a four bedroom, two bath home. Uh, the square footage is 1,776. Wow, what a great number. What a great year on the impact it had on our country. Uh, anyway, so that's gonna put the price for square foot about $206 a foot. Uh, there is an HOA fee in here. It's $85 a month. That takes care of the common area landscape retention areas, it does have a playground, uh, but the home is this home right here. It's a nice single level, two car garage, tiled roof. And also what's nice about it, it does come with solar and the solar is paid for. So that's something that uh, a lot of people like to do here in the Valley because of our sun. Uh, so we get so many Sundays throughout the year. It's, it's great for solar. Oftentimes they're in a lease program, but this one is actually paid for. So you buy this home like this, for example, it's already paid for and you get the benefit of the utility costs and the lower, I should say, the lower utility bills that you'll have throughout the year, which is kind of a nice little feature to have on this home, especially in this price range. That's really impressive. Um, but there is a, a common area landscape right here, which is a retention area, but it is across the street from the home, so the kids can play in it uh, when it's not wet or full of water from rain runoff. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you around and I'm gonna show you the neighborhood you can kind of see how the street looks down through here. It's a nice clean area. This home was built in 2012. So all these homes are about 10 years old. So it looks nice. Built one of the prominent national builders here in the valley. And so what I'll do is I'll take you around. I'll show you more of the neighborhood and the elevations. That way you can kind of see how they look. And then we'll head over to our next stop. <music> So we're coming up on our second stop. This home is listed for $445,400. It is a four bedroom, three bath home. It's 2,227 square feet. It's gonna put the price per square foot about 200 bucks a foot. Uh, the home was built in 2018, so it's a new home. It's got all new appliances. The roof is fine. The water heater is gonna be fine. All your major components of the home shouldn't have any issues there, unless you wanna just go in and maybe change some of the color schemes but it's this home right here behind me happens to be one of the largest floor plans in this development and we're down near an area called sundance uh, which is another master plan here in buckeye uh, but it's got some nice appointments on the inside it's got a nice backyard there is an hoa fee in here it's 57 dollars a month and uh but it's got uh, some community areas around here some green belt areas that need to be maintained so what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna take you around, show you the neighborhood, 
And then I got a final treat for you on our next stop. So I'm coming up here to the last home. I wanna show you, uh, this home has special meaning to me because I actually built this neighborhood uh, back in uh, 05, 06, and 07. And uh, it was in a master plan development called Sundance. And back in the early 2000s, we were instrumental in getting Sundance up and running, our home building company. And uh, Got a developer involved to do the whole commercial center there at I-10 and Watson, which is a great center. And I'll take you around and show you some pictures of that. Uh, spun off some of the land to some of the major builders that built in there. We kept some land for ourselves. I had a chance to build in this neighborhood here. And what makes this unique, uh, this was the only land that was available in Sundance north of Interstate 10. Because Interstate 10 kind of runs through Buckeye. Uh, but these were the only homes on the north side. Uh, built 242 lots. We had two product lines, a small size and then a larger size. Uh, the larger size is what I'm going to show you here in just a minute. Um, but this home is listed for 525000 Now it's a four bedroom plus a den, three full baths, two story, three car garage, got a nice spindle staircase up going upstairs. It looks actually looks very nice and very clean. And it's this home right here. It's got a nice elevation to it. Plenty of room, plenty of space in there. But what was nice about it too, in this location in the, in the development, is there is one of our playgrounds, which is literally caddy corner across the street, which is kind of nice. Um, there is an HOA fee in here, it's $55 a month. That kind of takes care of the playground equipment, some minor things throughout the neighborhood. Uh, we do have retention areas in here, but we kept it more of the natural terrain of the desert because we come off the mountain. Uh, where the first house I showed you, the green belt area that was part of the, the drainage, this is all natural desert, and it's that way throughout the whole development. So we tried to keep as much of the natural terrain of the desert scape coming off the mountain because directly behind us, right up at the end of the street here, about oh, just a few minutes, might be a mile or two up the road, is the White Tank Mountains. Great regional parking. You literally pull out of this community, go straight north. Uh, you'll be up there in just a few minutes. You can go up there and go hiking and biking and trail riding. And you know, if you want to take your horses up there, you can do that. I believe you can even camp up there as well. But it's just a neat area uh, to go out and explore, especially if you want to find some good hiking trails up there and kind of challenge yourself a little bit. Uh, and then you can walk around the neighborhood here if you desire. So. Anyways, this was a fun ride. It was a great development back in the day. Uh, this house was built in 2006. So, what, 13 years old? No, 17, 16 years old, roughly, 17. Uh, so anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll take you through the neighborhood and then we'll go ahead and, and wrap this up. <laughs> Go ahead and give you a quick market update. Finally found some shade, man. It's been a hot day today. Summer's right around the corner and starting to heat up. It was in the mid 90s today. We'd had a rain just a few days ago and actually lowered the, the temperatures back down the 80s, which is really nice. But now, kind of the skies have cleared up, the heat's coming back, and summer is right around the corner. So, anyways, what I want to do is I wanted to give you an idea on some different price points here in Buckeye, kind of on the uh, the lower side of about 375, and of course up to uh, that last home I showed you that I built that was five and a quarter. And you know, the reason I want to do that is, I mean, the number of homes on the market right now in Buckeye is currently 540 homes available for sale. Now, ironically, about 80% of those that are for sale 
or below 600,000. So the range is going to be anywhere from about 145 or 50,000 for manufactured homes on up to the highest price is over, over $4 million in Verado. Uh, but like I said, 80% of the homes currently on the market are below 600,000. So that's kind of why I wanted to focus in on, on that price range, just so you have an idea on where things stand here in Buckeye. Uh, but the great thing about it is out here is they've got new construction available. They've got lower homes. You've got, you've got mid-level and higher price custom homes that you can, you can select out here. Uh, a number of these that I showed you today were all in master plan communities. They do have pockets throughout Buckeye in and around this area or further south Buckeye or further west. Uh, if you don't want an HOA, you say, hey, I don't care. I haven't had a good experience. It's not what I'm looking for. Then there are options for you out there where you can get a nice home. Maybe you want acreage, you want horse property, whatever it might be. You've got some choices here in Buckeye, which is really nice. Uh, but like I said, you know, with, with about 30 master plan communities coming out, a lot of the newer stuff are going to have HOAs. But there are those pockets that don't, so you can kind of keep that in mind. Uh, so like I said, there's about 540 homes for sale. The average days on market, somewhere around 70 days. Uh, things are starting to settle down. Uh, we've had a little bit of an uptick in the market over the last 30, 60 days since the beginning of the year. So things are, I don't know, maybe we've kind of settled down and starting to have a little bit... Uh, of an uptick for those uh, looking to buy. Uh, obviously, we're still dealing with interest rates that are higher than normal, and that's gonna be something we're gonna have to deal with. Uh, but there are alternatives out there with adjustable rates and things like that. A number of sellers are out there offering concessions of some sort, either maybe towards closing costs, buying the rates down. Uh, so just you know, let us know, and we can definitely help you with that. We've got an amazing mortgage team in place. They can walk you through all of that, but. Anyways, just kind of wanted to give you an overview of really kind of what's going on in Buckeye. Uh, the market's strong. It's only con con going to continue to get stronger as some of these master plans that are on the docket get ready to come out. Uh, and it's really going to become more and more well known. It's a great time to invest. You know, you can get in now while the rates are low and let the market take care of itself for appreciation. But uh, anyways, that's kind of a brief overview of what's going on here in Buckeye. Like I said, if there's anything we can do to help you, if you're not looking at Buckeye, you want to look at other areas of town, that's okay too. We can help you anywhere in the Metro Phoenix area. Just let us know, you know, what you're looking for. Uh, obviously, a lot of my strength in the years past have been in new home construction, so there's plenty of new opportunity, new home opportunities around the valley. Definitely help you with that. Uh, if you're looking for land, whatever it is that you might be looking for, just let us know. We can definitely help you with it. So, thanks again for watching. Uh, be sure and, uh, you know, reach out to us. All of our contact information is listed below. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. It helps grow our channel. I mean, we've got these videos coming out every week and we'd love to share them with you. And be sure and tap that bell. That way you'll be notified of all the real estate updates in and around the Metro Phoenix area. So, hey, until next time, thanks again for watching. And we hope to show you around town. Yeah.